Good team exclusive and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today we have the 6pm content for you. Um, but before we jump into that, first things first, as you can see on our slightly shitty TV monitor, you can see the David Beckham trailer. He has now been officially announced by EA. He is also um, uh, an EA and FIFA ambassador. So what that means is uh, basically, if you didn't already know, if you play the game or play FIFA 21 Ultimate Team by January the 15th, um, I think on December the 13th, you'll receive yourself this card, which you can see is totally free. I believe it's uh, like an untradeable version of that card. It's not like a loan. I could be wrong. So, you know, don't quote me on that. I do believe it's an untradeable version of that card and not a loan, but it might well be. So who knows at this point? But either way, 86 rated David Beckham at Real Madrid looks, um, looks okay, to be honest. Not so great as a winger or a right midfielder. Maybe you know better as a cm cm maybe not so much as a cam but maybe a center mid uh, i suppose you can just swap him around in game but uh either way i do think it's really interesting this card because um you know obviously with licensing and rights and all that all that kind of stuff i suppose that's why they uh brought him back to real madrid and not gave the option of like psg manchester united that kind of stuff as well um but going forward you know for icons that could be really nice if they can get the licensing and rights towards future or past icons that played um you know at, at club level so you could have you know i don't know maybe if they can do it possibly a cacker at ac milan and that kind of stuff so you know it shows that they can do it with beckham but maybe not with all the icons it would be nice to see some of the icons though um transferred back to their old past clubs but either way yes so uh, if you play the game by january the 15th you receive that card, I believe, on December the 13th or just before Christmas, which is really nice. You know, you got to give you got to give mad props to EA for for giving away free stuff because it doesn't, doesn't happen often. So it may not be the greatest card in the world, but one thing's for sure: that card design looks oof, that looks uh, pretty spicy. And of course, it's free free David Beckham, so you can't argue with free cards. If you don't want to use it, stick it in an SBC. It's a free 86 rated card. Jobs. A good one. But uh, let's jump over to the game. So in the game today, first things first, we've got no objectives. Uh, there's no new objectives. Still got the same one. Again, this one's tied to friendlies. <sighs> I don't believe there's been any new content, new content, as in like new players or anything to actually play for besides that pack uh, that's been released for this week, I believe. It's actually been nothing. Obviously, this has uh, stemmed a lot of controversy for friendlies because they've added a, like a match limit so you can only play 12 matches in in friendlies and you have to win six you have to win out half of the match you play which is not always doable for a lot of people uh, probably including myself um so yeah it's not uh, not great from ea no new milestones as per it just i just don't know what's going on like i really don't know what's going on uh season does end in two days or just under so i'm really hoping there's gonna be some new content released uh for you know this week and and next um that is just, just utterly pointless isn't it it's just so so pointless but in the uh in we haven't got any new promo packs as well which always stems a bit of an issue for from uh from ea uh but in the way of um sbcs we have uh the german final now this one i find is really stupid because um if you're doing this don't like why what would you get for it you get a rare mixed players pack so i don't know which one that one is i think that's the one where you get obviously you get silvers but i don't know if it's the one where you get bronzes as well I, i'm not sure but uh yeah you get silvers golds it's tragic mixed players packs are always tragic and what you have to give up for it is uh 11 rare players 10 of them have to be silver uh, maximum from one club 10 which is easy they all have to they can just all be one league Players from the same league, minimum five. Again, all just have one league, pretty much, and German, minimum two. So uh, you're probably better off either doing a full German two, German three, or German one league team. But uh, 10 of those players have to be silver. So you're probably going to be using about 10 German silver players. And if we quickly jump out of the SBCs, go to the transfer market, have a look quite how expensive German silvers are and you can see where this is going so uh, silver rare German because they have to be rare let's just have a quick look what the general price we're looking at so already 2.1k bid for him 5.6 4.9 10.5 10.6 10.7 10.8 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10.9 10
10,000 coins, 8,000 coins, 2k bid, 5k, 1.8, 1.5, Jesus, okay. Um, so you kind of get the gist, they are pretty expensive. But let's actually have, have a bit further look what is the actual cheapest we're looking at. So two and a half, get away with the two and a half one, okay. Anything less than 2,000 coins. I'm not looking to do it, I'm just looking to see the price. So uh, actually a 1k, I wonder if I can get him. Okay, no, never mind, he went pretty quick. Um, could have made quite, a, you know, a fair few coins on him. So I think that was an anomaly. Yeah, so there's nothing really going for um, less than 2,000 coins. Yeah, 2.1. Okay, so they're all going for about 2.1. So you need 10 of those. That's 20,000 coins and a gold. That's probably what, 20, 21,000 coins, we'll say. 21,000 coins for a rare mixed players pack. That's utter utter garbage uh you're much better off if they're tradable obviously if they're untradable fair enough go and do it why not there's no no harm in it but uh yeah if they're tradable do what i've been doing just sell them 2.7 4,000 coins 2.2 2.2 2.2 and i sold a few of these because they've got the league spcs as well which we'll go into in a second uh non-rare sold for 800 you can get away with one non-rare so 500 uh and that's that. Yeah, that's all the ones I had in the club that were tradable anyway. Um, and yeah, they all sold for about, what, 2K on average? I think I was at 29 before 6 p.m. 29,000 coins, and now I'm at 45,000 coins. So, uh, you know, made about 20K or thereabouts. But mental, mental stuff, mental prices. Uh, yeah, again, I just wouldn't recommend doing it. Just sell, sell off your silver bronzes, uh, silver German, sorry. Can't get silver bronzes. Um, and then just make some money. But anyway, League SBCs. EA have ruined these somewhat for the moment. Uh, they are only in store for 31 days. You've got League Un Uber Eats. And you've got the Saudi Professional League. Uh, small, rare gold players pack. Untradeable. Garbage. Then we've got uh, League Un Uber Eats with small, rare gold players pack. Garbage. With... Oh, wait, hold on. You've got a Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack. Oh, wait, it's untradeable. What are you... Like... What are we doing here? Why Why are we suddenly all about untradeable? I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, why is it? Why does it have to be untradeable? It just seems like EA are just killing off the market or, or they're trying to force you to buy packs, which is quite evident. Um, but anyway, yeah. 31 days. Um, again, you know how this kind of stuff goes. You need 11 players from each, each club group. You need six from PSG. I just wanted to see if I had enough PSG players, but I don't. Uh, and yeah, so untradeable, 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 untradeable. So about what we're looking at. Probably about 50% of these are untradeable. Like all the best packs you get are untradeable. And this one gives out just silvers pretty much, which a few of those are untradeable as well. All the good kind of player packs ones from silvers are untradeable. So. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't get why they've done this, why they've taken away the player. I get, you know, they came out and said that um, they they were putting some league SPCs in and then possibly changing the requirements and rewards down later down the line. But like, as far as I'm aware, and as far as I can tell, nobody wants untradeable rewards. Everybody wants the league SPC grind where you get a player pick. That's how it worked. Um, and whether or not they're changing it down the line doesn't matter. You know, you've put it in the game for now and they're in there for a, for a month and you're giving us a small rare gold players pack with a tragic jumbo premium gold players pack. Like, and they're all untradeable. So you, could, you can't even sell these players. You have to then put them in more SBCs. It's so fucking stupid. And it is just, it's ridiculous. It's killing killing the grind of this game. There's been no content in this game the entire week. There's been no need to play. If you've played Foot Champions, you've got no Div Rival games to play, so you can't earn points. You can only earn, you know, the next Foot Champions things and increase your rank or whatever. Um, and they fuck, they fuck that system. They, they're fucking the League SBC grind. Um, you know, I, I've got a real irk about the whole Div Rivals thing because the 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 match limit, thirty games, means that. And the, the methodology I've been going behind is play 10 games of Div Rivals, try and win them obviously, get as much points as I can, then play Foot Champs with the 20 games remaining. So you can try and get rank two. I'm still in rank three, so there's no, there's nothing I can do. I can't progress that. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's impossible. So if you're, if you're playing Foot Champions, you most likely 
as far as I'm aware, you can't reach rank one or stay in it. I think it's rank two at the best. Um, so the way they've done this is just, it's so baffling. Everything about this game is baffling. And it's so frustrating because, you know, they could be doing so much milestones, objectives, player SBCs. We, we haven't had any of those the entire, I don't think most of the week. I know we had Felipe Anderson, um, but like, it's just pointless. It's so pointless, but I don't know. It's just sad. It's just sad really at this point. And I just really want some stuff. Wrong one. I just really want some stuff just to play for in the game. Like, is that so much to ask for? I, I don't know. Obviously you've got those player objectives, but like, I don't know. I don't know at this point. Um, it is what it is. So we'll have to wait, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously uh, tomorrow is rewards day. So I'm hoping we might better get something uh, half decent from those. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe on Friday there's a new promo coming out or icon SVC. So something might kind of give you something to play for again in this game. At the moment, it just seems kind of dead. So uh, there's not really a whole lot going on, but yeah, either way, um, drop a comment what you think uh, about FIFA 20 if you've been playing it. Um, you know, what do you think about the league SBCs? Do you think maybe the untradeable rewards are quite a good option? Or, or you know, are you somebody who's quite a hardcore, um, you know, player pick perspective kind of person? So let me know in the comment section below. Um, but if you have enjoyed this video, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. Uh, I think this probably would be the double up upload for today. Um, but if you have enjoyed this video, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. Um, if you want to see more of this content or any more content we produce on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and grab yourself a shirt from the exclusive lounge. But either way, uh, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.